Hello everyone. Welcome to Master Means PYQ program of Next IS. Today we will discuss a question from environment section that was asked in your GS3 paper in UPSC CSC 2023 mains. Environment as a subject has a weightage of 40 to 50 marks in your UPSC CSC mains. Generally 3 to 4 questions are being asked in GS3 from this particular subject. If we talk about the year 2023, UPSC asked three particular questions from this environment section that is one 10 marker and two 15 markers. So overall weightage of 40 marks was being given to this particular subject. Now if we talk about the question of the day, the question says what is oil pollution? What are its impacts on the marine ecosystem? In what way is oil pollution particularly harmful for a country like India? It was a 10 marker which was supposed to be answered in 150 words. If you look at this particular question, this particular question caters to the subtopic of environmental pollution in your UPSC syllabus. Before we start with the solution of this particular question, let me briefly introduce the approach to this particular answer. The approach should be, since it is a 10 marker and was supposed to be written in 150 words and this question is three sub parts, so you, you will have to manage your words efficiently. So in the introduction, either you can directly start with the definition of oil pollution which will be the first sub part of your question also or you can go ahead with some recent data to highlight the menace of oil pollution in a country like India or globally. In the body part 1, if you have written data in your introduction then you can directly define what is oil pollution. In body part 2, you will address the second demand of the question that is impacts on the marine ecosystem. In the next sub part of the body, you will talk about the third part of the question that why it is harmful for a country like India. And finally, you will conclude our answer either on an optimistic note or you can talk about the steps taken by a country like India or the way forward that we look forward to tackle oil pollution in India. So this will should be my brief approach to this answer. Oil pollution. Oil pollution generally refers to the introduction of crude oil or refined petroleum products in the environment leading to the contamination of air, soil or water. It can generally happen through various means like oil spill from tanker accidents, illegal dumping, offshore drip, drilling, maybe pipeline leakage or some other human activities. If we go by the data of ITOPF, it says that in year 2022, the volume of oil lost to the environment globally was 15,000 tons. This in itself is a good data to show that how big this particular issue globally is. Why it is harmful for a country like India? This we will automatically see in the sub third part of the question. Now we have many examples to see that how this has been a issue for a country like India or even globally. In 2010, 2010, there was a oil spill of the coast of Mumbai, which created havoc. In 2017, two vessels collided of the Anor uh, port of Chennai, which also led to a great oil spill. Then we cannot basically forget the deep water sea horizon oil spill in 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico where millions of barrels of oil was slipped basically. So these are various instances globally as well as with respect to India to highlight this particular issue. Now if we talk about the impact on the marine ecosystem. Impact on marine ecosystem. Basically the oil that gets released, it is deposited on the surface of the water forming a thin layer. What we call that? We call it oil slick. And to add to this, with a drop in water level, which generally occur occurs at this low tide, this oil slick directly gets deposited over this marine flora and fauna in the intertidal zones leading to their decay. So if you talk about the first impact, it will be that this toxicity. Why toxicity? That when this oil gets released in this water, it releases so many toxic substances. When this, uh, this uh, phytoplankton, fishes, shellfish, when they come in contact with these toxic substances, it, they are being prone to deformities. What kind of deformities? It can be the reduced reproductive cycle and some other things. So this toxicity to environment is one major marine impact of oil spill. Second is habitat destruction. How habitat destruction? This oil basically coats and damages the various habitats like mangroves, like shrubs, we have a very good example to highlight this that the prestige oil slip in 2002 of the coast of Spain 
that basically reduced the phytoplankton population by a great number which affected the marine diversity badly. Third can be basically this bird mortality. Bird mortality. How bird mortality? When these birds, they come in direct contact with this oil slipped water, their basically insulation and buoyancy that gets reduced, which reduces their chances to fly. Fourth impact we can talk about is your food contamination. Or you can say that your food chain gets affected. And we have a very good example to highlight this that in 2021, there was an oil spill in Red Sea. It basically led to food contamination badly. Then my fifth impact that we can talk about is this long term residual impacts. Long term residual impacts. How long term residual impacts? That we often see that after an oil spill, there are various efforts to clean these oils uh, using all possible modern technologies. But despite all those efforts, this oil, it remains in the water segments, affecting the marine diversity on a uh, this greater time period. For the time being, it may assume, it may appear to us that that oil has been removed. But in the long term, it is always there. The last impact that we can talk about is the economic impact. Basically, this is the most obvious impact that the tourism industry as well as the fishing industry, they are affected badly. Why so? Because of the reduced in the fish count as well as this unattractiveness. These oil contaminated beaches are no more attracted to the people. So this tourism industry is also badly affected by this. Next, if we talk about the last sub part of the question that why it is harmful for a country like India, particularly for India, why this oil pollution is very harmful. The first point is that our coastline is very huge. Huge coastline of India. 7500 kilometer long coastline of India. It is basically a major factor which this encompasses the fact that oil pollution is a big issue for a country like India. Why so? Because this coastline, it makes our country very prone to oil spill through this coastal industries or this tanker accident and so on. We have the example of 2010 where this Mumbai coast, uh, where this oil spill took place, it affected marine flora to a great extent. We even know that 12 of India's major ports as well as 200 plus known major ports, they handle 95% of India's international trade by volume and 68%, about 68% by value. So this much of trade as it is taking place, majority of the trade is in the form of oil only. So this is a very major issue for India. Second will be this uh, my high maritime traffic. High maritime traffic. India is basically one of the most busiest maritime nation of the world. India is at the epicenter of many of the chalk points, these trade chalk points. We can talk about Strait of Hormuz as well as Strait of Mal uh, Babel Mandap on India's west as well as Strait of Malacca on its east. These chalk points, they themselves basically tackle to the 70% of the global oil trade. So the position of India in the Indian Ocean, it is so basically influential, it is so strategic that India is obviously prone to this oil slips as well as oil pollution. Third will be loss of livelihood. As we have even seen in this 2017 oil spill of Chennai, the fishing community that lives along the coast that is being badly affected once a oil spill occurs in a country like India. Fourth, we can talk about is high oil imports. If we go by the data of 2021, 2020-2021, 84% of India's oil demand was met through imports. So this is again a major concern for India that we are dependent completely on the imports to meet our oil demands. That in itself is a big factor which makes us very prone to oil pollution. Fifth can be ecosystem diversity. The diverse ecosystem in our country, as we have the example of Western coast, this diversity is incredible in India. So when uh, oil spill occurs in a country like India, be it in Mumbai, Chennai or any place, this uh, diversity gets affect affected badly and it basically have long term repercussions to follow. So these are various points that highlight that basically uh, mentions the cause that why it is very harmful for a country like India. Now if we talk about a few steps that India has taken on an international level, then India is one of those few countries which have adopted the International Convention on Oil Pollution Preparedness, Response and Cooperation. Immediately after it was adopted by International Maritime Organization in 1990. India is also a signatory to MARPOL Convention. What is this MARPOL Convention? 
it basically prevents pollution from ships so these are some of the steps that india has taken on a international level to prevent oil pollution or to basically prevent the rep uh, this repercussions of this oil spill so uh, these are something that either you can use as a part of your conclusion or you can use as a value addition see what differentiates your answer from a good answer is that you use some particular recent examples as well as some data as a value addition to your static content obviously static content has to be there but these current examples these facts as i talked about this it opf data that in 2022 it was 15000 tons of volume of oil that was being lost to the environment so this is some good data that can be used as a value addition to your answer now next if we talk about the way forward that despite putting all possible efforts there has been oil spill in 2010 in mumbai in india there has been oil spill in 2017 in in chennai in other parts of the world there has been oil spill in 2021 also mauritius was there spain was there basically red sea was there and when india's position as we talked about in the earlier part of the answer also the kind of position india has in the indian ocean so it is prone to these kind of oil spills so what can be the way forward the first point can be strict regulations government needs to come up with very strict regulations and guidelines for offshore drilling or for these tanker accidents and so on so that this uh, some things that can be managed like pipeline leakages like illegal dumping they can be taken care of next has to be technological advancements what for technological advancements see with the advancement in technology now it is time when we can basically keep check over as many negative instances as possible so there are technologies to prevent these oil spill or even if a oil spill takes place we have those sponges those basically modern sponges that they can sponge the oil oil that was being spread in the water as soon as possible third way forward can be that we can basically promote cleaner fuel this will basically solve multiple problems for a country like india we are uh, now too much dependent on oil and we know this oil what uh, dependency is on imports so this oil these uh, instances of oil spill they are taking place because we are importing a large amount of oil from other countries so what we can do to, to avoid this we can basically switch to solar energy wind energy hydro energy so that our dependence on oil reduces with time so basically shift towards alternate energy sources can also be a very good idea then my fourth point can be that international collaboration can be there what for that if a incident of oil spill takes place the best possible technology with the neighboring country can be put in effect immediately to basically prevent any further damage also if you are importing oil from a country from xyz country and we are in good collaboration with that country our relationship with that particular country is good then also we can take good number of measures to basically prevent any particular oil spill so this can be my way forward now if we talk about the concluding remarks to this particular answer basically india is a leading country in the indian ocean and as we have talked up already about its strategic position it has to set an example for those asian and african countries how they can further prevent this oil spill so it is high time that basically we have to prevent those financial and environmental consequences or repercussions of a event like oil spill and for that india needs to follow the policy of that prevention is always better than cure so all possible better and all possible latest instances latest technologies have to be put in practice to ensure that any particular event in future which basically progresses to this oil spill can be prevented and if then also by chance an instance occurs it can be curbed immediately so that was all about today's question we will meet in some other video tomorrow if you find the content useful do like the video share it with your friends and also comment it over the video thank you so much